Yeah, Herr Präsident, liebe Kolleginnen und Kollegen. Thank you, President. Colleagues. Now, the Russian crime of aggression against Ukraine has had several negative consequences, which we have condemned from uh, kidnapping children uh, to damaging uh, critical infrastructure. Uh, this is not something that is attacking just military targets, but civilians as well. And not to mention the environmental consequences, uh, not just talking about the tracks or the traces left of a tank that has rolled by, but the environmental consequences in terms of the damage to soil and air quality and the uh, other spillovers calculated that the um, amount of uh, damage done or uh, contamination is as much as a whole, uh, the whole of the Netherlands, for example. Um, there has been, you know, there are no words to describe uh, the Kekova Dam uh, destruction other than the word ecocide. And, you know, everything that happened there it's just indescribable. And how that is linked, of course, with the uh, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. I mean, this is outrageous to be carrying out such exercises in, in, in the area. But uh, uh, we can only condemn everything about their actions. And there are other crimes as well that we could uh, list uh, and should be brought to a tribunal as crimes um, which show the character and nature of the Russian regime. And in this House, as usual, we seem to agree at least on that condemnation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Garda. Next speaker, Mrs. Schalderbilt.